Of course, uh, fresh uh, in the minds of every member of this Honourable House is the National General Election, Mr Speaker, which uh, among other issues of concerns demonstrates how vulnerable we are, Mr Speaker, to the uh, mercy of people who are determined to manipulate the system, Mr Speaker. It is, uh, it is really pleasing to see that the, that the post and pre-election events are now settling down and uh, as a country we are getting on with our lives, or so it appears to be, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> so I, I'm throwing, uh, I'm throwing uh, in a little caveat here, Mr. Speaker, uh, because uh, we must not be fooled, Mr. Speaker, by the, by the love and uh, t uh, must be ever alert, Mr. Speaker, as a country, to the uh, complicated political and geopolitical environment we are traversing, Mr. Speaker. Let us not forget, sir, that we just came through a very tumultuous general elections. Yes, generally incident-free, Mr. Speaker, but it, it left behind a lot of disappointed people, Mr. Speaker. A lot of disappointed people in the persons of contestants, and uh, powerful countries who have direct vested interests in this election but did not get the outcome they wanted, Mr. Speaker. So the 12th House uh, itself is also not free from uh, these uh, concerns, Mr. Speaker. And, and we, we hear incidences of uh, and uh, this happens in my constituency, Mr. Speaker, we are surprised too now. We hear incidences of expressions of open disappointments open disappointments by foreigners who were present during counting when the uh, results of some winning uh, candidates, and in this case myself, <laughs> um, uh, was, 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 an, uh, was announced. And you can see, you look at my mouth, look at us, where now? Hey, what no one didn't you win come here? We're not contested or place block at on the things you blow yourself up, and people will be not voting me come, Mr. Speaker. So I've seen that. You observe that, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there's the number of government uh, members that lost their seats and the number of petitions against winning candidates is a testament to the dissatisfaction that exists, uh, Mr. Speaker, and, and brewing, may I say, Mr. Speaker, and the successful campaign. Uh, you know, uh, against the sitting uh, 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 government by, by, by these forces, Mr. Speaker. And as a matter of fact, uh, the 12 general elections was never, I mean, also like never like any other elections in the past, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Me bar Philip threw down. Philip started now on the ground. Heavy started now. But, uh, you know, we just maintain you know, the same number we win him law. 2019, number one, we win him back now. So there's a clear evidence that the people voting me would stop no man. In fact, if, if, if some of the people not stand up more of them, I think if I lose finish now, Mr. Speaker. So as I said, as a, it, it's not like any elections in the past. It had, a, it had an agenda uh, for it, uh, in, uh, set for it by, uh, by, by foreign interest, and, uh, and even went to the extent of dubbing it as a referendum on China, Mr. Speaker, before time in evil. Media cut him that one up. As if, sir, uh, the, the, the country has committed a crime against humanity or something, and therefore those who uh, were responsible for the decision must be voted out, Mr. Speaker. And that indeed uh, was the battle cry going into the election. It was viewed, Mr. Speaker, by, by both the local and international media and the public uh, as the first election after the country made that, uh, you know, what I consider is the most important uh, decision after our existence as a nation for more than 45 years, Mr. Speaker, and that is the decision to correct the diplomatic blunder, Mr. Speaker, that didn't make him to recognize Taiwan uh, after it was uh, uh, removed from uh, the United Nations. Sir, I'm not ashamed to say we are proud as a, as a nation to have uh, made the decision. And I do not have to labor myself, Mr. Speaker, to demonstrate benefits that, that, uh, of the decision, not only to Solomon Islands, Mr. Speaker, but to the Pacific region as well. So I will leave uh, that discussion for another day, Mr. Speaker. 
But the Western world, as you know, was obviously agitated by the decision and that by giving the DCGA government hard time during our term in office. It is therefore fully justified to conclude, Mr. Speaker, that geopolitical interest was at play during the 12 general elections. And we cannot rule that out, Mr. Speaker. And uh, you do not, have, do not have to be a rocket scientist, Mr. Speaker, to see the development uh, leading to the general elections, Mr. Speaker. So the focus now is on the 12th Parliament, Mr. Speaker. And uh, you may are on both sides of the House. We have the duty to uh, to protect the 12th Parliament, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. The government side, of course, and the government responsibility to earn that respect, Mr. Speaker. To earn it. Everyone must not come naturally, Mr. Speaker.